Figured seeing we have the front wheels off for the bearing change would be a good time to change the front diff oil. That's your filler plug there. And I don't know if you'd be able to see that, probably not. Underneath there somewhere is your drain plug. For this job you're gonna need a five millimeter Allen socket or wrench and a 21 millimeter socket or wrench. I've got this one with a fancy extension on it so I can reach it easier and the front diff on the Grizzly calls for 0.22 liters of at least API GL4 gear oil and today we're using ADW90 iPhone oil and we got from our local Kimpex dealer you can also pick it up online at www.kimpex.com so let's get at it Put the socket on the fill plug. You know, the water bomber is going over, just declared a restricted fire zone in our area, and you can smell smoke. Must be some fires in the area. When we fill it, you're going to want it so it just starts running over the threads. There's the drain plug right there. It takes a five millimeter Allen wrench. Sometimes they can be pretty sticky in there. Hopefully this one comes out good. Wasn't too bad last time I put some it never seize on them so they wouldn't seize up because the back ones are known to be quite tight. Now I can do this without getting it all over me. Didn't even see any water coming out of there, which is good. Okay, so now that we've let it drain good, I've cleaned the threads off on the drain cap and I put a little bit of Never Seize on there because they like to rust in there. And now we'll put that in. So now to tighten it up, I think the manual calls for 10 newton meters or seven foot pounds. There, that's all it takes. Good. So yeah, it calls for 0.22 of a liter or 220 milliliters. And you want it just to start flowing over the threads and coming out there. That should be good. It's important to have helpers when you're doing this job. We hate to throw it. So after you let it sit a couple times and make sure that it's ran down and they're good and then just have it coming over the threads, then you want to clean the cap off and oops I need an extension and then uh, I think they call for 23 Newton meters just use common sense so you're not there you go and that'll do her that's the front diff oil change on a 2011 Grizzly 700 okay we're back again we're gonna change the oil in the rear final drive and the back calls for 0.2 liters or 200 milliliters of 80 weight API GL4 at least. So we'll use the same oil. And this here plug at the back, that's where you'll put the oil in. And that little plug there in front of the axle is the level oil. You want to fill it till it starts coming out of that. And then that one up there is or drain. Sometimes those can be quite tight and the last time we took it out it was pretty tough to get it out but put some anti-seize compound on the thread so hopefully this time it's a little bit better. Now like I said that plug can be pretty tight so you want to make sure your six millimeter allen head socket is on there good or in there good so you don't strip it and hopefully she comes out not too bad. Like that. That wasn't too bad at all. You must really torque on them from the factory, I guess. Ooh, 
we don't spill. This stuff looks pretty clean actually. It's good. You're gonna wanna inspect that little metal sealing gasket on the plug. I don't know if you can see that very good there, but if there's any doubt, change that. This one looks okay though. Blew it off and I'll put some anti seize compound on there again. Just finish draining. So after you've let it drip out good, get it all out of there, you wanna apply your anti seize compound on the drain plug and put it back. The manual calls for 17 foot pounds or 23 newton meters of torque. You can get it out again. Trusty torque wrench set at the proper specs, and here we go. There you go. Should be good and you should be able to get it off again next time. Stuck in there pretty good though, isn't it? And there you have it. Fill it in the back hole until it starts running out the check hole. Now put your little drain plug in and you're all done. The little check plug is 7.2 foot pounds or 10 newton meters and the bigger fill plug is 17 foot pounds or 23 newton meters. Almost forgot to mention that I had the rear tire off but you don't have to take it off to do this job but I just did it so I could get the camera in there easier. Looks like there might have been a little condensation in that oil but not too bad I guess. So that's gonna do it. That concludes the front diff and rear final drive oil change on the 2011 Yamaha Grizzly 700. We're in no way professionals, but it's really not a hard job. Take your time and check everything. You should have no problem doing it yourself. Thanks for watching. See you all next time.